Hello YouTubers. So today's video is just another fire alarm test. And if you're wondering why I have this open, I've been doing a little bit of replanning on where I'm gonna put this because pretty sure in like four or five weeks I'm gonna be rearranging my room a little bit. So I'm gonna be moving some stuff around, making some new changes to the alarm system at the moment. Still sort of the same except I put this old Pyrotronics PE11 smoke detector head up here because this other one right here, like I said, it needs a DPU programming unit. And if you don't know what a DPU programming unit is, it's provided by Siemens. And it programs these heads for them to work. It gives them a loop address. Like you, like these were used, so they're already programmed and ready to go. That's why they flash just fine. This one is a new head, so it's not programmed. I wish I knew someone that had a DPU unit, because I would just give them this head and tell them, can you please program this head and test it to be sure it works, so that way I can make it plug and play and just stick it right up there. That is this little green light here will blink. At the moment, it's doing nothing, and I got two extra PE11 heads right here. They're programmed the moment I don't know what I'm gonna do with these but they're extra I know one of them I'm probably gonna do a a week experiment with the salon care for and see how long will it take to make it as white as this head because this base I'm gonna use for this but I don't have a programming unit so it's just extra for now so I'm gonna see how white I can make that nothing hasn't changed in the workshop Except I doubled the voltage a little bit to run all four of these heads. Smoke detectors are in here. Now someone told me that my strobes is out of sync. Yes, I could probably do it on the system because all I it has to be done with the system sensor MDL sync module. And I've done a little bit of research in this Wheelock fire alarm here will work. That guy will work. Some cases these Edwards integrity integrity horns will work. I don't know about Gentex, but I know at my school they have a mix of Spectral Alert Advance and these Gentex Commander 3s and they seem to sync just fine. And obviously you might not be able to tell because I got so many balloons in here that yeah, don't it's not my birthday or anything, it's just I like to play with balloons and then I had to put them in here because I don't want the fan to kick them around. So that one's blocked. And I know it definitely will work with this. It will definitely work with advanced heads and these, I'm going to call it the Spectral Alert Advanced. And I'm going to probably put it right in this little corner. All that equipment will be moved from right here all the way up there. And right here... These are some disconnect boxes that came off my old units on the house. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to basically use these as a new box. A new electrical box instead of this cookie tin on the wall here as you can see. It'll be all in there. And I might have a disconnect as well and I could punch out conduit holes and run conduit all the way out if I wanted to. Especially for the MDL sync module that might be coming on the system soon. So yes, I can make that happen. So now, let's move on to the test. So, my splitter is on. So, there you go.
There we go. You got a system test. I know it's been a while since I last did these videos, but because I've been, I've been very busy and I've been trying to invest in some new equipment for the system. Just very basic. And you might probably know this came off a of Direct TV Genie system. Because my parents got rid of Direct TV and I just kind of snuck this. Because they don't ask for this stuff back. All they ask for is a receiver. So I decided to take this. So therefore, it powers all of my fire alarms. Just the fire alarms. The smoke detectors are battery powered. Just to make it more stable. So I hope you guys got entertained by this system test today. And like I said, I'm going to try to get the MDL module because... Yeah, I kind of do want the strobe synced as well. And if I could get it all synced and make it go all off at the same time, it will be much better. I know it won't be obnoxiously loud, especially for the community out there. Never gotten complaints, but I know someone's going to be like, Hey, you're too noisy. Turn those off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.